You know, I've been president now for 18 years, and the first year I was president, we had this convocation, and the students filled up maybe five rooms. So um, it is a testament to our faculty administration. Each of you is altruistic and empathetic and civically engaged. Each and every one of you has demonstrated the extraordinary talent the intellectual curiosity and the perseverance that makes all of us confident in you and thus in our futures. No matter what course you choose for your own journey through life, we know that you will pursue it with the same level of dedication and commitment to achieving your goals that you have demonstrated during your years at Hostrom. Graduating is a bit like being born, isn't it? It's that point in time when many of you are leaving the womb-like safety of your parents as well as the insulation of your school. And like birth, you'll be, you'll be crying, your parents will be crying, some admiring relative will clap you on the back and you will breathe. For the first time, that air of what? I learned that getting where you want to go has everything to do with preparedness meeting opportunity. My path may have been a long and winding road, but it got me where I wanted to go. If you're having difficulty figuring out how to start life after college, give yourself a path. I mean, it could be almost any path. Mine was musicals. It will focus your efforts and put you on a road to somewhere as opposed to sitting around waiting to be inspired, going nowhere. We may not have control over many things, but we do have some control over what path we choose. Who you meet may be unexpected, but everyone you meet knows something you don't. Learning from them or not is up to you. It's your path. But each and every step forward is the attainment of a goal, no matter how insignificant and has tremendous value. It's called experience. Welcome to the world after college. Break a legend and congratulations, class of 2019. So this is one of our traditions, which is probably the most, one of the most meaningful at commencements. We know that each of you has succeeded and achieved, but we also know that each of you had had an army of family and friends and supporters behind you to reach this day. So if you turn around, spot your family and friends, we will join you in a round of applause for them. So I encourage all of you, go out into the world, find your passion, make your fortune, but never forget your home. It's good to go, but it's also good to come home. And your life won't be just about your job. Remember this, it shouldn't be. If you're lucky, it would be filled with family and friends and maybe children. But chances are, and remember this, you will spend the better part of your life at work. So if you can find a job that you love, it won't feel like a job. No one can ever take what you learn away from you. Your education is so valuable, and it is the most important thing you leave here with today. Graduates, you're leaving Hofstra today with a world-class education. The things you learn during your time here will serve you for the rest of your lives. But your education doesn't end today. In fact, it's only just beginning. America is depending on you. You are this country's future leaders, maybe presidents sitting here, members of Congress, but also school board members, city council chairs, our democracy will not survive without all of you. We won't be our best without all of you. Use what you've learned here at Hofstra to do well, but also use what you've learned here at Hofstra to do good. And to make your graduation ceremony complete, please move your tassels from right to left.